Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on publishing video in Flash with ActionScript 3, brought to you by Fantasy Animation. First, using the FLV Player class, we will set up an FLV file to play. Next, we will introduce the code that will make the video loop. So, let's get started. Open the new document, select ActionScript 3, and save it in the same directory as your video. Open the document properties by right-clicking on the stage. This is where you set the color and size of the stage. I am going to choose white and leave the size as it is. You can choose any color or resolution you like. Next, go to Window, Components. Drag the FLV player onto the screen. Open the Properties window and give the FLV player an instance name. I am going to call it Player. Make the player the same size as your video. Now we are ready to write code. Add a layer to your timeline and name it ActionScript 3. Name the other layer FLV Player. Go to the Actions window. Our first line of code will play the video. Type in the instance name of the FLV player, followed by the source attribute, and set it equal to the name of your video and closed in quotation marks. Close with a semicolon and test the movie by entering Control Enter on the PC. So, this works great, but at the end of the video, it stops. To make the video loop, we need to access the FLV Player class, which will tell the Flash player that the video is over. To do this, we enter import flash video dot asterisk and close it with a semicolon. Next, we will create a function that will respond to the information that we get from this code, namely that the video is over. Start with function, the name of the function, which we will call onFLVComplete, which receives the argument event of the data type video event. The function will be void because it will not return any values. Upon receiving this data, the function will tell the target player to play the video. Now, this won't work by itself. We have to call the function. Type in player dot add event listener, open parentheses, video event, comma, complete, comma, on FLV complete. Now when you test the movie, it'll loop. There you have it. If you have any questions, just post them here and I will respond as soon as possible. Don't forget to stop by Fantasy Animation to check out my work. Take it easy.